Yeah, so totally wicked in the challenge and conformity to TPD standards in other organisations. Yeah. I can see two tracks with all of this. On the one hand, you're going to have companies that, that because they fear for their longevity, are likely to try to achieve TPD compliance ahead of time. And you can well understand that certain trade organisations will be advising that that's probably not a bad road to go down. Which is probably why we're seeing a proliferation of 10 milliliter bottles of chips, something I absolutely detest. But yes, if, if EU is going to mandate 10 mil bottles of less than 20 milligram, then yeah, you're going to see shed loads and shed loads of 18 milligram, 10 mil bottles. I kind of get that. I really don't like it, but I kind of get it. Companies, however, who are interested in doing the right thing are going to be opposing the legislation in the TPD and totally wicked taking Article 20 on, head on, in court, is a good thing. We'll be talking about that more when we interview Fraser. But companies that are made, and in fact I noticed something on Twitter the other day, it was one of the companies were saying that they were no longer stopping 10 and 15 milliliter bottles or whatever, they would only have 30 mils. Did you say that? I did, yes. What's your take on that one? generally speaking around about the smallest I buy. Yeah the minimum I buy if I can help it is I'll buy 30 ml as a tester to see if you like it and then if you do. But because everything everywhere you go is 10 ml bottles it's one of the reasons that I'm more happy mixing my own juice because I can't be doing with 10 ml bottles and the amount of bottles you end up lying around the house and it's ridiculous. Well, it is. It is. I, I, and I just wonder, I mean, everybody knows I'm not a green. Good God above. Um, but I just wonder what the costs and the green costs of all of these 10 mil bottles are likely to be. Exactly. And yeah, okay, if you've got 10 mils of 10 milligram, you've got 100 milligrams of nicotine, and we know I can, I can drink that, and that, that wouldn't be an issue. I can, so from the point of view of potential poisonings, I, I understand that. But also, you've got to take into account what Bernd Meyer said um, on Monday Gone about the incidences of fatalities from nicotine poisoning. And there's one confirmed um, and that was with as I recall 80% yeah. or higher concentration being sprayed into the atmosphere Spread, yeah. rather than trying to drink it because your body automatically rejects it it makes you, you vomit you get rid of it upchuck upchuck yes upchuck so yeah it, it's it's down isn't it to, to, to companies that are either worried about longevity and are trying to comply with the TPD with all this 10 mil malaria. Yeah. And yet they do not realise that under the TPD there is nothing device-wise that they stock now 
that will still be allowed yeah. under Article 20 of the Tobacco Products Directive. Nothing. There is nothing on the market in terms of a clearomizer, atomizer or anything else that complies with the directive that is not a sealed system. Exactly. Not a thing. No, so they'll be selling 10 mils of juice but you won't have any use of them. Well, here's the thing. Some of us will. Well, they but new people will have nowhere to go. You either buy something like the Vipe pen, which is ostensibly a sealed system, which ostensibly is not refillable and therefore does not need a leak-proof filling mechanism. Um, well, that's it, isn't it, really? Pretty much, yeah. What's currently on the market? And I, the cynic in me says it's indicative of which companies are looking to comply yeah. and which companies are looking to fight. And I don't know about you, but I'm more inclined to support the companies that are looking to fight yes. rather than the ones that are looking to comply. Yeah, you? totally agree. Um, it, every time I go on a website and it's just 10 mil bottles, it, something sort of in the back of my head goes, really? And I'm more inclined to go elsewhere. Yes. I'm sure everybody's mileage will vary. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm absolutely certain that there are hundreds of thousands of people out there yeah. that have no clue what the TPD is going to do. Yeah. Probably don't even know it's out there. Um, and they'll be quite happy to buy sealed systems, um, sealed CE4s pre-filled. And that's fine, yeah. if it satisfies them, but it, it's, it won't do for me. No, I could never go back to something like that, never. Not now I've got sub-tanks. <laughs> Good Lord above. No, definitely not. Yeah. So I think it's, it's down to what people want to do, isn't it? Yeah. If you want to support a company that is seeking to comply and therefore be around and if you can live with the kind of products that that kind of company sells and will be selling that's cool if on the other hand you'd rather like to support a company that's going to fight for your right to use what you want to use then you know what to do don't you I've made my choice. And it ain't 10 mil bottles.